what is is going on is it's the children that are in there your children 19 20 21 years old they have them in with predators this edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by freekeen.com point after they stopped Aaron from filming how long after that were you arrested minutes okay and so that process was never filmed no okay uh, and was See, that would have been a hell of a film was because they only put you in shackles from your ankles to your waist to your wrist to your waist and turn around and and just break the law what it tells you is that anybody, listen, I went to jail for having a judge look at evidence that was to protect my children. You understand how vile this is and how corrupt this is? Were you, um, uh, was Aaron forced to leave the room? Yes. Okay, so he, his, he was supposed to hand over his computer and was he forced to leave the room with his camera and video well, and tell you what. When I was leaving the room in chains, Aaron was leaving the room also. I see, okay. So they emptied the room. Of everybody, not just... Uh, not well, just... everybody was me and Aaron and one other person that I brought. I see, okay. Um, and now, what happened after that? This is the part the media probably didn't report and no one saw. They, they, they had you completely shackled from, uh, from, from wrist down to, to, uh, to my feet. My ankles, and... my waist. They took me into jail. I had eight and a half days there, solitary. Why, no why, what are the reason they give you for putting you in solitary? The guards were messing with me as the prisoners. I've got heroin dealers and addicts, and I got the cops protecting them. Let's just say I'm not in friendly ground. Oh, they okay. gave me a pillow thinner than a piece of paper, gave me a, a cot that I had to roll up and put in a ball just to put under my hip. Listen. I can take anything. This is one tough son of a bitch. But what is is going on is it's the children that are in there. Your children, 19, 20, 21 years old, they have them in with predators and monsters, and they are beating them, and they're raping these Was this kids. Valley Street? This was Rockingham County. Oh, okay, okay. I am telling you, I spoke to them. I could tell the young people, you know why? They'd come to see how I was doing. The same kids that were getting beaten were coming to see if I was okay. And this is Rockingham County Jail? Yes. Okay, all right. So my point being is, is that we've got to save those kids. These heroin things, we've got to stop the source. And then we've got to help treat the kids that, 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 that are affected by this. This is only going to get worse. Have you seen the projections for death? And I'm telling you, what is it, 500 this year? And I guarantee you it's mon hundreds more next year. And have you noticed the crime? The crime is going through the roof. Somebody's paying for the drugs. And now they're breaking into homes. There was a couple in Manchester, I think over the, the other day, got stabbed from break-ins. This is what's going on. And it's going to get worse. Now, did you, uh, when they put you in uh, uh, solitary, did they allow you to write to the public from I there? Had nothing. No phone calls. They wouldn't allow me one call. Any, Nobody. Did they, did they allow you to have pen and paper? No, I had a pencil, a small pencil that was still in my folder. They gave me nothing. Nothing. They, but they let you keep the pencil. I know I had the pencil, I guess. And wait, did you have any paper to write on? or I had the court documents. I see. So I wrote on the court documents. In fact, you'll see one that we posted. And it said, and I gave it to Jared Broderick, an attorney, that they were going to try to kill me that day. Right? Well, I told him to go to the DEA that day as an emergency and let him know what's happening. Do you know what? I got it in writing. He made a phone call. They didn't answer. The right? DEA didn't answer you? The DEA didn't answer me. Uh, so, uh, can you can you summarize for me in one sentence precisely what your concern is with the powers that be in New Hampshire? The concern is this. 
is that it's all their own self-interest. We have been sold out 100%. The law firm, they control your state. They are the politicians. They become your judges. Uh, I want to caution you not to say anything to me off camera, uh, but uh, is there anything else you want to add to summarize that you think I've kind of missed something I'm not, not reporting that I probably should be? The banking department, I think we should talk about, and the fear. Investigate them. Okay, okay. Audit them. Find out why they're not protecting us about these drug launderers. What are they doing with those banks? Now, I need to caution you that much of what you have told me is there's many, many things here that by law I would have to investigate individually before I can put them on my channel. So I may not be able to get to all of it or put everything on. Right. So uh, I'm focusing on the parts that I know and can confirm. Uh, and I may have to cut some else out what or it? investigate one or the other. I'm not much of an investigator. <laughs> so We've got uh, evidence for you to look at. Yeah, it wouldn't take much to investigate. It would take more than I have, uh, uh, but I want to put on the parts that I can confirm. Uh, so anyway, I want to thank you for speaking with me and for having this event and for having me out here and for your transparency. It didn't take long to convince you to, to talk to me on camera, and no, I appreciate that. I mean, that. this is about putting light on what's corrupt. Yeah. And whatever the risk, whatever the cost, we've got to go out and talk about it. Yeah. And uh, you're still on the air on WPPL no, or not anymore. completely off? Okay, all right, all right. And you were on for how many months? Six. Okay, all right, okay. All right, well, Mike Gill, thanks for your time. Okay, thank you. All right, take care. Okay. You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.